Well, my computer was running perfectly fine before the BIOS update. Hello guys, hello everybody. Guys, so uh, you are questioning probably it's updating my BIOS going to kill my motherboard or delete my hard drives or anything else. Uh, on my previous videos where I show how to update your BIOS, there are a lot of comments of people having black screens and whatnot. When I update my BIOS all the time, I do get some black screens and stuff like that, but I get out of them automatically. I just let the computer do its thing. So for the purpose of this, of or actually for the purpose of that, of those comments, I'm going to go ahead and do a BIOS update with no video edits, raw footage, okay? So three, two, one, let's go. So the first thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go to I'm going to go to my uh, browser and I'm going to search for my motherboard. Right now I got the Asus C170E. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and search on Google. E drivers. Enter. I see it right here. Asus C170E. And I'm gonna go ahead and click support, driver and tools. I'm sure you guys know how to do that already. Um, Windows 10, go to bias. I don't know if the camera can pick that up good or not. Um, let me see here real quick. I am not using the screen recording because I'm going to be rebooting the computer. So anyway, so I went to uh, driver and tools, Windows 10 64 bit or whatever operating system that you got. And I'm going to go ahead and download 3401 version. I'm going to click download. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then I come over over here or go whatever you have your uh, download destination. Uh, where is mine here? Where is it? Let me find it real quick. Asus C170E 3401. I'm going to go ahead and extract the file. I'm going to go ahead and extract it too. You can extract it whatever you want. Um, so to make this simple, I'm going to go ahead and extract it to uh, the desktop. Let's see here. Uh, Click desktop, so it's easy to find. There it is, it came up on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and close these windows. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click, uh, let me close this down. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop. Right here guys, I already got my uh, USB flash drive or flash stick, whatever you wanna use. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this here as you can see there's nothing else in here there is nothing else you want to use a empty folder so one thing that you want to make sure it's you know click on the folder and make sure it's a CAP file cap and once you do that go ahead and drop and uh, drag and drop and once it's dropped here we got it Let's go ahead and refresh and make sure it's here. There it is. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the restart button on my computer. And once I get to the Asus screen, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit the delete button. I'm gonna spam that delete button. All right. And as you can see here, I got a black screen. Oh my God, this curious black screen. All right, so just hit delete once you get to this screen here. Um, and here we are, here we are on our bias. So what I'm gonna do right now, let me go ahead and move my monitor up here so I can see the screen better. 
You see, am I in focus? There it is, that's much better. Uh, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and click default or click F5 on your keyboard. Default, that is going to take my overclock away and whatever. Uh, it's going to set the motherboard to the file. It's going to remove every setting that you have done. Now, once we are here, go ahead and click F7 or advanced mode. Click F7. And once we are here, uh, go ahead and go to the tool tab. And right here, Asus EC Flash 3 Utility. Click on that, and right here, guys, you can do both ways. But right now, I am doing, you know, the the classical way, simple, using the USB. You can do the via internet. I have done a BIOS update doing it this way. So I'm gonna leave that uh, video in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, via storage devices. Click next, and right here, guys, this is kind of tricky. A lot of weird numbers and stuff. Uh, you want to make sure that you pretty much allocate by yourself or find uh, my my flash drive is 30 gigabytes. I know it's overkill for this, but that's the only empty, empty one that I could find. Um, so I know it's on the 30 gigabyte. And as you can see here, here is our cap file. See that? So click that. Uh, do you want to read the file? Man, if this is true that... Um, updating your bias is going to kill my uh, computer then rest in peace uh, computer but I'm doing it for the sake of this video just in case that you are afraid of something going wrong relax don't stress let the thing do its thing all right yes yes all right so now it's uh, processing I am probably going to do uh, the, the computer, the motherboard is probably going to do few um, restarts, but don't panic, okay? Now, uh, my DSLR camera records up to 10 minutes, so right now it, got, it has 2 minutes left. I hope uh, this is done before that, otherwise you're going to see a little cat scene, and, and, and I'm going to hit the, the record again, but I, I am looking at the little screen, so um, I hope uh, we don't we don't have to do that. So in the meantime, guys, um, like I said, a lot of people are, you know, panic or panicking or afraid of updating their bias because they're reading a lot of comments that they glad, glad what the hell, that they got the black screen and they won't boot out of that, out of that. So if that is the case in this video, um, then I guess we'll travel shoot it together and this will probably be a, long, a one hour video or something which I really hate doing those type of videos but anyway guys I am here talking I am trying to keep entertained talking about whatever pretty much uh, uh, because I you know like I said I want to do this video live with you know as less edits that I can in the meantime um, you can check out my video uh, I mean my gaming channel where I upload Minecraft and stuff like that. So, yeah. See, so uh, my my current bias it's the 3301 and the newest is the 3401. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video, I guess. Yeah, but my current version it's the 3301. So right here we can see that it's going a little bit faster, a little bit faster. So we'll see what happens. I know I'm going to get the black screen. Update successfully. System will be reset. Okay. So the whole computer shut down. Okay. 47 seconds. 46 seconds. 45, 44. The video is going to end right now. Uh, man, right on the... Oh, I hate that. Uh, 34 seconds, 33, 32, 31. Come on, boot up, boot up, boot up. Come on. F2 or F1. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. 24 seconds, 23 seconds. There it is. There it is. Under 10 minutes. 
under 10 minutes. I am back on the bias. Let me go ahead and see if I can try to do some overclocking in 12 seconds. Am I going to be able to? Uh, am I going to be able to? 45 overclock, 4500 megahertz. Five seconds, four seconds. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, I am on the, I, I, it only took few seconds for me to go and click the record button. Um, so here I am, guys, I, over, I, I hit the, the 4,500 megahertz overclock, but I know that I can easily hit 4,700. But anyways, that is not, um, that is not the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. Um, click exit, S uh, save changes and reset. I'm not going to apply no overclock. Oh Jesus, I don't want to overclock. Ah. ah, let me see here, F7, let me hit F5, cause I'm gonna go with no overclock to Windows. All right, so F10 to exit out of here. Ah, wait, I, do, I still see my 120 gigabyte SSD and I still see my two terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. So, we are still good. Let's see if updating the BIOS uh, corrupted Windows. So, F10. Uh, you have not made any changes to the BIOS settings. Okay, I haven't. But now my version is 3401. Jesus Christ. This mouse is uh, is really bad, or I don't know what's going on. But anyways, before I go, uh, C170E, BIOS version 3401. Like I said, guys, I have no clue where these people are coming up with the black screen and getting locked up on the black screen. Like I said, I have done, I do uh, BIOS updates every month, at least twice a month on the computers that I build. I, I'm always running BIOS updates, BIOS updates. Um, I have never been locked on the black screen. Sometimes, and it's weird or rare, depending on the type of update, uh, I do go into the black screen, and then it says that it's going to update uh, one more time, so it makes me do, redo the process. So I have to redo the process, and it does the same thing over and over. Uh, well, not over and over, but twice. And after that, guys, well, you know, I, I go back into Windows and here I am back into Windows 10. So, guys, are you panicking? Um, what could be the reason why your motherboard can break? I'm sorry about that. I just ate a lot of pizza. Anyways, um, what could be the reason why your motherboard can lock you out? Uh, reason number one faulty motherboard that is it a faulty motherboard a motherboard that is already that it's ready to give in ready to break down it you know be glad if if, if it happens because if it broke with a bias update i mean i really hope it doesn't but if it broke with the bias update it was going to break on you overclocking playing a game the computer was going to shut down breakdown and you can say well my computer was running perfectly fine before the BIOS update well try to revert to the previous update and see if you can as soon as you get out of the black screen but most likely and correct me if I'm wrong or hate on me if I'm wrong but you know brand new motherboards being released like some of them are bad asus motherboards you know that i am an asus uh, i'm not fanboy but i am an asus enthusiast of motherboards so i'm always buying uh, asus and um it's my preferred brand to be honest on on motherboards easy to use i know you know i know it i know the 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 bias like the palm of my hand a few little things here and there but anyways if a bias update broke your motherboard it's because it was already too it was defective. Simple as that. A motherboard that is in good condition is going to run any BIOS update without a hiccup. Alright guys, with that said, I, I, I think that I talked too much already. 
but I just wanted to make this video because a lot of people are panicking. A lot of people have the C170 motherboard and they want the i5 7600K. They, you know, the only upgrade is $195 right now. It's running, I think, last time I see. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you can update to the 7600K, that's awesome without having to update the motherboard as well. I got, like I said, I got the Asus C170 motherboard and my processor it's the i5 7600k i can overclock pretty good i can play my games pretty good do i have any issues no do i have any freezes no so if that answers some of your questions or if this didn't answer uh, some of your questions or concerns then ask away in the comment section all right guys uh, this was your host uh, sergio with take over clock you guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time.